Oh good, it's raining. Well, I guess I'm not doing any digging today. All right, I know what to do. I have a small repair to do on a boat. Oh, let's go out there. Oh, get out of the way, Leaf. So this boat has pedals, and there's a paddle wheel under here. And I noticed recently there's a piece of metal that goes across here and under and up there, and it's cracked right here. So I need to replace that. I think I might just. There's four of them, one under every bearing. Get out of your crap. I guess I should replace all four of them. Because this was some stainless steel I got from some scrap. I don't even know what quality it is or anything, but yeah, it's definitely not holding up to whatever's going on down here. I totally thought that was that side. Oh. All right, let's try that again. Don't drop it in the water. Don't drop it in the water. Don't drop it in the water. Oh, man, don't drop it in the water. Most of that thing. Yeah, this piece broke off. I'm gonna need that to measure so I can make the next piece the correct size. And I think I'm gonna replace all of these. However, I'm gonna do them one at a time so the paddle wheel doesn't fall in the water. Okay, I need to make this out of something that's not going to come apart. You know what's weird here is this is rusted right through, but this other side, it broke. Yeah, it's nice and strong. And most of the metal, it's got surface rust, but this must have had a crack in it, probably when I bent it. It was a little too brittle and I put a crack. So maybe I don't have to replace all of these. Either way, I'm definitely replacing this one. All right, let's. All right, I've got this here pipe. Uh, sorry about the windows behind that. And down at this end, it's got the flared out end. So that means this curve should match that metal thing over there because I made the bearings with pipe of this diameter. So this flared out part should fit it right around it. Oh good, nice and filthy. Uh,
Okay, it should match. Yes, it does match. Excellent. Okay, that's where the curve is. So, got somewhere around there and somewhere around there. That's some pretty thick plastic. That's going to take a while to melt. Oh, I have to melt this whole part because this is curved. It can't be curved. Alright, Good. There looks about right. I think I'll drill the hole in it out. Uh, yep, that's the right size. And this drill is on its last legs. Ooh, my son will be happy that his machete is ready. Very cool. All right, let's go. spacer in there. Before I go get a spacer, just drill this hole. Put the bolt in this side. Can I get it from under without the drill getting wet? Okay, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, good shot, Jamie. I just cut off one of the leftover pieces of that plastic, melted it flat, put it in there, drilled the hole, looks good. And I have a couple long trips I need to do. Speaking of long, I had to get a longer bolt because of the spacer. It's fine though. Um, I have a, look, a couple long trips coming up that I need to do. And I really don't like going on long trips without pedal power. Because that's my backup. One time I went on a long trip where I know I've got plenty of battery to make it there and back. Especially if the sun is out. But then unexpectedly a storm showed up. Because you know, the weather is not always predicted, predicted perfectly. And... I was fighting against the storm and I had to take a longer route to get around a lot of the storm and I ended up using all my battery or at least enough that I wasn't willing to keep using it. I don't want to kill the batteries. So I was about five miles from home and I just pedaled home and it was fine. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of effort but better than just being stranded. And I like the exercise. You know, I gotta admit, 
<laughs> when I get stuck somewhere and I have to like pedal home or somehow use my own strength to save myself, I kind of like it. It's fun. It's, it's, it's an adventure. And, uh, you know, using a paddle on a boat this big, it's not, it's not good. This is the short person's side, the chair is way up for my kids. I sit on the other side where it's longer. Um, I need to check all these. So this, I just checked the bearing holder on this one, that seems fine. I think, I think this PVC one, that PVC is pretty thick. I think that should last a long time. And obviously I don't have to worry about rusting with that one. Let's just check the other side here. This is the side I normally use. This side has to be good. Alright. Guess I don't need to replace these ones. Beauty! Alright. Man, I love this boat. Oh, it's such a good boat. The shark slicer. No, the tiger shark slicer. Right, because I painted the tiger stripes on it. Now it's the tiger shark slicer. Okay. 100% functional again. I love the zero dollar repair. Just use a piece of scrap that I already had here. Speaking of repairs, uh, my computer is repairing itself. Uh, you know, check disk slash R slash F, repair fix, blah, blah, blah. Replacing bad clusters. Well, this is my computer I use to uh, edit video, so you know. If you're watching this video, it finished fixing itself. 